Yo, what up, guys? We got Fent Demon. I already recorded this, but um, it got like uh fucking corrupted, so I'm just gonna re-record re it. So right away, I see that um, yeah, I saw this. So it was shield bash first phase, and you weren't in the shield bash position. This is seen in like every single wizard gameplay or any gameplay in general. You should always be on the left of him in order to cancel his movement and make him just stand still so the group can stagger him and i've said this before to a couple friends already but shield bash sitting is definitely the number one thing that anyone can do to make the run faster i say if i were to rank it like as a necessity for a run i'd say actually that someone shield bash sitting and know having a player knowing how to cancel his movement here is actually better than a trickster because of like the fact that this is basically just another splendor like you're able to just fully um make him just sit down you know he's your dog i think i think that this will get actually nerfed eventually and like you won't be able to do this eventually but for now you should be shield bashing at all times and in this case specifically for the first phase it's the freest shield bash ever you don't even have to really think about it because He's always looking at the right um, of the screen, which is well on, on the map is on the right. Your screen is rotated, but on the map he's looking at the right. So you could sit on the left of him, which you're, right here for you it'll be on the on the right right here. But yeah, this is seen in like all gameplays. You should be doing this like no matter what, because you could be EPing and just um, making him sit down. So yeah. Okay, another thing I wanted to say is that you definitely need a snake eye. I'm not sure why you don't have one, just in general for, like, quality of life. Like, I don't know how you can play this game without a snake eye. But for you especially need it in Shield Bash. Shield Bash is one of the phases in 03 that you really want to snake use your snake eye ring. Because if no one's sitting him, then he's just running around, like, erratically. And as you can see, it can get pretty random, especially if you're not, like, the person he's aggro on at all times it can get pretty just strange and weird with weird jumps and weird 90 degree turns so you really want to use a snake eye what i would probably do is like right here i would just use a snake eye and then just run around with him and it just improves your reaction time and like your output i guess much much better so yeah Okay, yeah, right here. So right here, you can be getting hit by one Splendor Bomb at a time during pre-exalted Splendors at all times. This is seen in a lot of my other gameplays as well, if you want to go watch. But you basically have to go bottom right of him and EP him. You're a little just too on top of him, I guess. You're, you're a little, like, to his right when you could be bottom right, and you won't get hit by this bomb. Because the reason, okay, look, the reason you're getting hit by two minus 94s here is, is because you're, you're too close to this bomb right here. But if instead you were to go just more bottom right, you'd be able to dodge that one and only get hit by this one. So you'd be able to fully EP and only just tank one minus 94. And it's the same exact thing for the next purple phase. Um, you could go top left to dodge this one right here. Instead of getting hit by two, you could be getting hit by one here as well. So, yeah, but instead, you actually just go for the safe spot completely, which is definitely not worth. Especially in pre-exalted, when you have 700 HP, you should just be fully tanking. Like, if, if you don't know the trick to getting hit by one at a time, which you should, which you should practice, like, by watching other people do it, you should be... Um, Fully peeing him during Splendors. There's no point of getting off here. You're at 700 HP and he staggers and you're just missing out on damage now. Also, you need to be using your ability a lot more. I don't know. I haven't seen you use your ability, like, basically at all. I saw you use it, like, once or twice. So, you definitely need to work on that. You also blasted a little there, but it's okay. I mean, I respect the, these EPs, but, yeah, you, you still haven't used your ability. So right here again, if I had a snake eye, I would just instantly use it right here. If I knew that he was running away from me, I would just use a snake eye right here in order to just get the speedy and get better reaction time on wherever he's going. 
you have a, like a 91 M heal pet, I'm pretty sure, because you're healing like 32. So, you want to... You want to... Well, first of all, you want to feed your pet like a bunch of shit. I mean, that's pretty obvious, but... Yeah, try to try to get your pet to 100 M heal, but also, because you're using Pair Spell, and I see that your mana bar is like basically full, this is just shit, because you really want to use like Tablet then, because Pair Spell is only good when it's um, combined with other items like Domp Spell and O Spell, because of how you can definitely use it, and I think that's a little too advanced for the gameplay I'm watching right now, so I won't really explain it, but I have it in other videos, but because... I see that your mana bar is basically full because you're not using your ability a lot. I think you should be using tablet instead. Because, yeah, you're just not spamming enough. But what I will say is that, like, in this gameplay, your dodging is really fucking good. Like, it, it, it's actually, um, yeah, it's really good. I think if I was to, like, say something, I've already said this before to, like, other people I've reviewed, but I feel like you're not a wizard player and you just got on wizard and you just need more practice on wizard like you just probably made a different class respectfully because i can see like other stuff like the, your play style is like of different classes so maybe you're not used to wizard so right here in order to shield bash it you have to just walk with him and then go like the opposite direction that he's going so like it, it's kind of hard to explain but as you can see he's going from if you can see where my cursor is, he's going from here to the middle of the room, which means he's facing this banner, like this direction. That means that you can sit on the opposite side right here, and then you could be shield bash sitting him on this little pixel, and you could be EPing him at the same time. And like I said, shield bash sitting is the most important thing that you can do in this game, so. Or in 03 at least. Okay, yeah, you can EP that. But yeah, I really like your dodgers, like. You're definitely very careful with how you're in combat. I think, yeah. But you definitely need to be spamming your ability more because you're always like at full. Okay, so I'm just gonna say this once, but for exalted shield bash shits, the, okay, so this is actually tricky, right? Because he's been in the middle of the room for quite a while now. So you still have to like have the memory that he's facing this direction, right? Because he reset from over here. So he's technically still facing this direction. And during Exalted Shield Bash, it's, you have to remember that it's the opposite of Pre-Exalted. So Pre-Exalted, you'd want to be on the left side in this case. But for Exalted, you want to like sit toward where he is facing. Because in Exalted Shield Bash, it's, he will shoot behind him and then stun in front of him. If you're not, what I'd recommend is tanking the stuns and using HP pots, but obviously doing that at, at like your own risk, but tanking the stuns can ensure like a stagger in the group. And what I can guarantee you is that your EPs don't fucking matter at all when there's 50 people shooting the boss. Like it's better to just get stunned and, le and let the group stagger because in turn, you'll make the run faster by doing that instead of EPing him and then dodging the stuns. So yeah, okay, so for Splendor, I would just be fully EPing here, yep. Another thing for Splendors is you can't really dodge the bombs unless you're on a wall. That's a completely different case, but in in the middle, like you can't dodge the same way how I said, because the radius of each bomb is much uh, wider. So you're just getting hit no matter what you do. But... I definitely respect you for full sitting splendors here. It's, it's should be common knowledge, but a lot of people still don't do it. So, from what I see here, I'm just gonna guess that that first splendor that you did when you messed up and you went to the left during a purple. I'm just gonna guess that was like a mistake or like a brain fart because this this right here is really good, especially if you have O spell. Not only is O spell really good for damage, of course, O, o spell does like double the pair of damage in terms of the mana. But also, it gives you defense, so it's like a double positive. It gives you plus 15 defense um, on ability use at a 50% chance. So, like, as soon as you use your ability, you have a 50% chance to get 15 death. And it, um, 
keeps going. So yeah, you just need to like get lucky, I guess. But if you're spamming your O spell, you're getting 15 death basically. Yeah, like there's no chances you're not getting 15 death. So okay, so right here, if towers didn't go up, what I would do is just use like three or four or five maybe HP pots and just full set this again. But because towers went up, you should be dodging. Okay, so I don't know why you left. That, that was pretty strange. You should have went to the right and just went to the safe spots and then EP'd. I think maybe you're a tower Terry, though. So, it's all good. Bro's a tower Terry. I mean, I, I can't say I don't respect it. Alright, well, here's Celestial. Let's see. Okay, so your EPs are definitely like a little scuffed. I think, like I said, this is definitely gameplay like of someone who doesn't play wizard, but like not necessarily that you don't want to learn. So a lot of people do it differently, but right here, I mean, it, I can tell you're unsure of where to sit, but the, I've never seen anyone actually sit here. Um, another thing is that you're holding out your EP. So right here, when he's vulnerable you're missing out on a bunch of damage like first of all these shots are useless this shot i'm pretty sure is also useless yeah that was basically useless you hit like two or three shots and then well apart from the fact that you're just not with him and your aim's like your aim's actually not bad in this case it was more of like your positioning because he pea shoots out from yourself so yeah, you definitely just need more practice with these EPs. I can't really say anything in regards to the positioning. You really just need more practice. You really want to watch more people um, play. But me personally, during Celestial, I usually hold out my tier 14 and I sit right here. If you watch my videos, I mean, I just do it in all my videos. But I just hold out the tier 14 and then time the EP with him jumping. So instead of... That way, that way instead of this happening where you're basically getting zero damage even though he's vulnerable i can be shooting him with a tier 14 and then swapping an ep like right here i usually swap to ep that way i just got a bunch of tier 14 damage and eps instead of just nothing and then eps <clears throat> but yeah you also need to track him more here for sure um it was good for a second, but you could track him, like, more, or at least try to. You should kind of stop your cursor, which I see a bunch of people do. <clears throat> okay, well, you're rotating too much. I'm not sure what this was. I need, I actually just need to rewatch this. Yeah, I mean, you should go to the left. You don't need to go to the right there. You want to counter-rotate and not rotate in that case. Okay, I want to say one more thing about Exalted Shield back shits for everyone watching because this is another one of those important notes where it's always the same exact, like, um, phase. So as you can see right here, he's he just got off of a stagger, and I apologize if you can't really like see it because of all the particles, but he moves up a little, as you can see right there. He just moved up. Well, I'll, I'll play without pausing, but look. So he moved up a little. You you, you might need to like rewatch that or pause or like play it in slow motion, but he moved up, which means that he is facing the. He's facing north, so you should be sitting north for the shield bash sit. And this is for anyone, this is exactly the same like thought process and idea for the first phase of O3. When he's facing right, you should always be on the left of him because you can just shield bash sit him. And in this case, you should always be on top of him here. Always, always. Because you can always hit the shield, the exalted shield bash. Other like shield bash sits where he's on the outside of the room where he's doing weird like thingy majingies 
then it can be weird and then it gets more advanced but for these are the most simple ones that you should be doing as like a seasonal zero eight class and something simple as that will actually just benefit the run more than like someone um doing like a million damage or whatever so yeah yep right here i mean you repeat it but you could have been shield bash sitting like i said so that was kind of perfect actually <clears throat> um yeah so if you move a little up you'd be able to just cancel his movement and you'd be getting stunned but it's okay because you're at a thousand hp oh you got stunned anyway it's okay though but you you're not using your ability at all basically i respect the paris bolt stack but yeah you're i mean you're not using your ability on the boss tower terry over here So yeah, another one of those moments where I would like to use Snake Eye because he's not with me. I would definitely just use a Snake Eye and just reposition. Another thing is like, okay, it's right here. Like you can't really see him on your screen. You need to pay attention to the map and the red circle to see like where he's just chilling. Sometimes what I'll do is literally I'll just stand still instead of moving in order to see where he's going and then go to where he's going. Because you don't really want to be moving around and then like all of a sudden... You went the complete opposite direction where he is because you weren't looking at the map. So you really want to look at the map and base wherever you're going off of that. Okay, well, you definitely could have dodged that silence beam right here by just moving up and you would have also been EPing at the same time. Okay, nice. That was good dodging. Like, yeah, your dodging is really good. I also like to use a snake eye for outers because I really don't want to, like, get left behind uh, in any circumstances. That's just me personally. So, yeah, it was um, an all right run. Let's see how much damage. Like, four minutes. Uh, we don't, I guess we don't get to see any damage. Um... So four minute run, I what I'll say is I don't think that it's um, celestial ready. I think you need a couple more weeks of grinding wizard because, like I said, I can tell that you don't play wizard, then that you're just like getting on wizard for like I guess roles in discords. You low key like you should be playing whatever you want to play it's not about dpm if you're sending if you're already sending in a video you should be sending in videos of like game of, of like classes that you actually know how to play because you can be playing rogue or assassin or any other doctor class even trickster but if you're showing exceptional like gameplay and like gameplay that's actually important important for the run you'll get the role you don't have to get on wizard like this um thinking that you have to do damage for the role. Because I can see that you're a good player, you're really good at dodging, but wizard, you don't you don't play wizard. Like, <clears throat> or at least you're, you're trying to, I guess, look like you play wizard, but you don't. You need, if, if you do want to play wizard and verify with wizard for like roles, and just in general get better with wizard, you really just want to play more. Another thing I'd say is you want to use your ability more, you want to use Dama Spell instead of Para. For sure. Or I mean the tablet instead of para. Because you're not using the ability enough. But overall you also want to just have a Dama spell. Because Dama spell is really good for 03. So yeah. I think the Celestial is pretty bad as well for the EPs. Right now what I would tell you to do is probably just binge watch TAU. Can't lie. That, that would be my suggestion. Just watching, like, all the wizard gameplays, all the recent ones. You could also watch other reviews of other people. Because I do say a lot of the stuff there. 
it's kind of been getting repetitive, I can't lie, especially with the shield back shirts, because I go over that every single video. But I feel like I'm getting better, like, explaining it, I guess. Um, I should really just make a video, like, specifically for that. But, yeah, so... Definitely just watch more T, watch more Wizards. You can watch different Wizards as well if you want. I know New Waffle Post has been posting Wizard gameplay recently. So, yeah. Um, as for what you should work on the most, I'd say it's using your ability, actually. Because even just hovering over, I can see your blue mana bar is just, like, always maxed. So, yeah. Um, if you liked, like. If you disliked, dislike. And yeah, subscribe. See you guys.